Hello, hello, dear subscribers and guests on my channel. And if you're a guest, please go and subscribe. Okay, and today, like a backend developer, I will tell you my approach to debug Java in Nervim. And by the end of this video, you will be able to run Spring application, run tests, and efficiently debugging them. The plan is following. The first, install Java debug. The second, set up plugins with Bucker then set up completions for their debug repo, then set up mappings, and the last one set up debug extension for your telescope. It helps to navigate around your breakpoints. Let's get started. First of all, on my GitHub project, NVIM config examples, linked, is attached in the description, you will find the whole of these files and configurations that I'm doing in this video in the folder DAP Java, and here you'll find the configuration. All of you need is here. First of all, you need Microsoft Java debug. You can clone it and build it by yourself, but you need a Java and configure Java home, or you can download the releases from here. To build it, you have put variable Java home in your path. Then put Java debug in some folder. Then in your packages configuration with Packer, scroll down and insert somewhere here two new plugins. The first is NeoVM DAP, debug adapter protocol, and the second DAP with help of your completion for CMP. If you want to see completions inside of the REPL during the debugging, you definitely need this plugin. Install both of them. Then open Mason. Here press 3. Scroll down and install by pressing I, Java tests, and Java debug adapter, press I. And we need one more file to begin with. Open NeoVim config examples project and here inside of the DAP Java under the Lua folder you find the utils.lua. This looks pretty big. It does pretty simple thing. So just copy that, create utils.lua in your Lua folder, and insert everything here. And then we need JLD TLS configuration here. Create a new variable which contains the path your Java debug project. Then scroll down. Inside of your JDTLS config, you have CMD settings, flags, and init options here. Under the bundles, you have to implement a path to your debug plugin. Here, we have a path to Java DAP folder. And here we have a proper name of the file that we're gonna start. And here inside of your unattach function, it could be extracted or it could be inside of your configuration. You have to set the line JDTLS setup DAP with a hot code replacement auto. And the last part of our dance with configuration is inside of the CMP config. In CMP scroll to the bottom and insert these lines. They should be outside of your CMP setup. And now we are good to go with the K-maps. Okay, and here, the first of all, I want to implement a couple of functions. The first is get Spring Boot Runner. It gets profile and debug and parameters, and then it does a very simple thing. The first of all, if debug is present, so please set this parameter for your Maven startup. Here you can see I'm starting with a debug configuration and I want to use like a transport a socket. This is a server and suspend until you connect with your debug tool. And then if it's not, so just empty string. The profile param. I quite often use a lot of profiles with my Spring Boot applications, so I want to provide it here. 
And you can extend and use some Vim inputs here if you use the multiple profiles. And then I run the Maven command Spring Boot run and insert the profile and debug params. I need one more function, the run Spring Boot application function. And here I run this command with a simple term, but you can use your favorite terminal plugin. And then I use the get Spring Boot runner function with the local profile. You can set here whatever you want. And with the bug option. Then I want to use the F9 and F10 to run the Spring Boot in normal mode and in the bug mode accordingly. Here I open the demo project and I press F9. And immediately the Spring is running. You can stop it here or just delete the terminal and it immediately stops the server. Then press F10. And now listening for a transport DT socket at address, now it's waiting for your debugger, but it's not configured yet. Be patient, we'll do that very soon. Just kill it. So I have a key bidding for deleting this buffer, but what you can do, the B delete exclamation mark. And it immediately stops the server again. Okay. In kmaps, I insert the attach to debug function and map that to leader TA. What does it do? Here I require the DAP and set the configuration for Java. Then I want to attach to the process to the port 505. And then I load the command the DAP continue. That's pretty much it to connect to the application in the debug mode. But we need some stuff to move around in the debug mode. For that, we have uh, four functions. The first, continue debugging, then the step over, step into, and step out. Let's insert them. I like to use the F keys to move around like it's implemented in some IDEs like IntelliJ IDEA. To toggle breakpoints, normal and with conditions, so I insert a couple of other commands. I want to use the space P to toggle breakpoint and space and capital B to set a breakpoint with the conditions, some log breakpoints and open the REPL. Then let's move back to our demo project. Set the breakpoint somewhere and you see the B in a sign column. Then press F10 or your bindings. Then move back, that's pretty important and then press TA. Move back and see what happens. The spring is running when you connect it with your debug tool. Then invoke the endpoint and you immediately stop. Now if you press F5, it continues execution. Okay, move back to our configuration and insert a couple of methods. The first is get test runner. Here it does almost the same thing with running your Spring Boot. I'm using the Maven to run the tests, but you can do the same thing with your normal Java jar. And if you run your Maven tests with the option surefire.debug, so it will run your tests inside of the debug mode. Sometimes it's really helpful. And here you can see I specify the test name. It is a class name or method name. This function runs only one function under your cursor. And the second one, run Java test class, runs the whole class tests. And now you're probably wondering what the utils does. They just use the tree setter to get current full method name or get current full class name. You need them to run the Maven tests. Okay, insert the following key mappings. You can define them by yourself. I like to use the leader plus tm to run my Java test in a normal mode and the tm capital to run my test method in debug mode. The same for the class. Then save it and let's try it out. Here I have a couple of tests and a test class. So let's run the first test in a normal mode. So press space and tm. It works. And then if you press space and TC, very successful and only one failure. And let's try to run them in a debug mode. Let's try to understand what happens with our test here. So let's set a breakpoint here and then run space and capital TM. That's ready. 
I move back and press the space DA and it runs automatically. It works, but you can see what is going on here. You can see what inside of the user variable. Let's fix it. Okay, what kind of information you can get in a debug mode? The first is scopes, then frames, expressions, and threads. You can present them in a couple of different ways. And you can learn about them with the help DAP widgets. Use this command. I will insert just a simple one to see the scopes in the centered float view, then save it. I think it's a most useful tool to see all of your variables in a debug mode. I do need to see them presented all the time on my screen. Move back in our project. Okay, then I press GS, see the floating window with all of my scopes. Here I see the test class, and then I have the user with all information. And then a couple of useful things more. Here you can set the breakpoint with a condition. So I want to use this breakpoint only in this case when the name equals John. So now we have a conditional breakpoint. Then run our endpoint with the name even. Nothing happens. But then let's set that John. And it immediately stops the execution of our application. Then press F5 to continue. And also in the bug mode, you can use the REPL that you can invoke this command require TAP REPL open. Or in my case, I can use just space DR. But I will show you how it works. Press I. Here you have a DAP line. What you can do here. So press user. And you see my completions is here. Get name. If you press enter. You see the user get name to uppercase and submit it to uppercase. Ripple gives you ability to call any method in debug mode and see what it's returning. There is a really nice extension for telescope that helps you to navigate around your breakpoints. The name for that telescope DAP. You can search for a bunch of things, but I am mostly using the search for the list of the breakpoints. Just invoke the command. And you move around all of your breakpoints. You can even search for the commands of the DAP. That's it for today. I hope you got Java debug mode configured in your NeoVim. And if you have any problems or questions, please leave the comments below, press the like button, subscribe. See you next time.